BYU sophomore Jennifer Hampson is the tallest player in the West Coast Conference at 6'7". So that means that from November through March, she delivers key blocks for the Cougars basketball team. But from August until November, she plays a crucial role in the Cougars volleyball team. Here's more now on BYU's Two Sports Stars. Hampson with her first kill of the second set. I got introduced to it in like seventh grade, but I didn't really start playing until ninth grade. Both around ninth grade. Works it inside to Hampson, and Hampson scores and the foul. I was pretty tall, like all through elementary school. I was like 5'11", seventh grade. And then between seventh grade and ninth grade, I really had a growth spurt. It went from 5'11", to 6'4". Her junior year, she was playing both sports, and she kind of blew late. So it was, it was kind of late recruiting. The teams recruited me individually at first, and then I you know, expressed that I wanted to play both, and then they caught on, and I was recruited as with both. She had a lot of a lot of determination, toughness. Of course, her mother was a great player at BYU, and so you always want to look at that and say, hey, if she has potential. And then, I'm not going to lie to you, 6'7", it doesn't hurt. Looking at that, I, I learned a long time ago, you can't teach height. For a last shot, Rivetti misses Hanson with the rebound to put back and scores. I think she she's understands the game so well. I, I've never seen a player that can pick things up as fast as she does. She's kind of like our safety net on defense. She's always in the help side, so if you ever get caught on defense or um, someone drives past you or something, you know you have Jen right there that can stuff it. When we needed a kill, we found Jen uh, front row and, and equally as much out of the back row as well. She killed a lot of balls out of the back row and she killed a lot of those, uh, those sets that we needed uh, her to take, take control of her and uh, win the point and get us out of some tough situations. It's amazing what she goes through. As you know, the NCAA, she can only practice so many hours a day in both sports. But to be able to balance her time and to be able to be effective and be able to build relationships with not just the volleyball team, but with our team is very difficult. And you have to be a special young lady for that. That garnishes a lot of respect for her teammates. They understand that that's a situation that we, we agreed upon and they love her for that. And they, they also understand the uh, wonderful student she is academically. They know her academics, they know how well and how, how much she excels in the classroom. She spends her time wisely. You know, she doesn't have time to mess around and get behind. And it's probably a blessing because she's, she has to be really organized in her, in her day. Her day is, a, is full. I don't know, it's just a lot of hard work, you know, I like, I like school and I like to put time into it and I like to learn and so, you know, just with that, it's just, it's not, I don't know, it's not hard to me, so I don't know. She never seems to get tired, like travel, like, you know, I mean, she's traveling twice as much as everybody else. But you know, she wanted this and she wanted this opportunity and I think she shocked a lot of people that she could do it. I honestly love it, like I can't get enough sometimes, but you know, sometimes it's physically demanding for sure, you know, it's kind of tough, but I don't know, I love it, and so, sad.